and I, <laughs> here we are. I know, it's insane. Isn't this amazing? Mine is absolutely blown. I'm taking this far too seriously. I now feel like <laughs> I am the lady of this manor and everybody's here. You are and you look the part. I'm here oh, for it. Oh, thank yes. you. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't not, but though, to be honest, the secret is I do have my woolen socks. Yeah. and DMs underneath. I love that. I love that. <laughs> I'm all the way here for that. So tell me what you think of when you think of WOW Festival. Uh, I just, I'm so excited to be a part of this festival because it's, I'm obviously like a musician, an artist, you know, I'm a woman. I've like lived all the way around the world and I, I just have such an important like relationship to like the diaspora, for example, and like the connection between like all of us. And so I just love the fact that like, this festival exists and that it showcases like women from all around the world. Like I just found out that someone that I work with from that's in Vancouver is also performing. Like it's just like incredible. So do you think that that is um, an example of how we can make the best of a situation that has been very hard, very associated with loss, sadness, yeah. pain? The pandemic has uprooted all sorts of conversations yeah. globally. But as you say, if you choose to innovate within that space, yeah. you take a festival online, yeah. you have the ambition that WOW does and always has, it, it kind of shows a glimmer of hope, right? Yeah, absolutely. And also, I feel like it allows for new conversations to be had. It allows for people like, to connect in different ways and in new ways to reinvent the way that we see the world, you know, that we do things and that we interact with one another. So I do feel like it's the only thing we can do in this time, you know? Obviously there's a lot of grief and a lot of sadness and a lot of loss, but then there's also a lot to learn and to gain. And so, yeah, I'm very grateful. As an artist, how does one continue? I know it's difficult in terms of the discourse of a woman. Yeah. I am a woman, I'm not a musician, but I'm a woman. Yeah. And it's not easy, you know? Mm -hmm. like a lot of discussion yeah. that you can have at WOW can definitely highlight that. But there's something very beautiful and profound about making music. How do you continue to do it, particularly in the current times? I feel like it's, it's a need, you know? Like, at least for me, when I, when I create, it's not so much of um, a choice, it's more that I need to. And with everything that's happening, there's an even like larger need. I've been working on my album for like a year and a half, and I'm just like, I need to finish this because now I have all of this new energy and all of this new inspiration really um, that I need to channel and that I need to release. So I think that art is, is like the way to maintain hope through the world, you know? So it, it is needed and people have to continue creating. I think people are tapping into new gifts that they have. You know, people are like painting, but maybe before they didn't paint, you know? I've even tried painting. Yeah. And it ain't necessarily a gift, <laughs> but it's a release. But, but, it's, but it's important, you know, it's an expression and we yeah. have to express uh, everything that we are because we're by ourselves, you know, isolated, confronting a lot of our dar darkness and our thoughts and we need to let that out somehow. So I think, um, people are really seeing the value of art now, especially. Beautifully put. As somebody who is not necessarily on the mainstream, but always working, you know, definitely a gifted human being, what do you think that this time means for women who are coming up or aren't always given those huge profile moments? Do you think that there is now a more of an open mind for the masses, let's say, looking for new work. Yeah, I feel like we live in a really interesting time for um, artists, like you said, that are not necessarily in the mainstream because I think everyone, there is more space for everyone to exist and not to necessarily like strive to be like that Adele or whatever, you know? Um, and we're seeing that like every voice matters, you know, and every experience adds value to like the collective experience. So I do feel like it's, it is a really good time to keep like sharing your craft. And also with like the pandemic specifically and the fact that we're losing access to a lot of things, but we're also realizing the resources that we do have. Like for example, that we're here right now, like we're at Albert Hall, like, you know, we sometimes people, can have limiting beliefs about what they have access to. And then in a moment like this, when everything is being stripped back, we kind of start to see, oh, well, actually I have this friend here and I have this space here and maybe I can shoot at my local cafe. I don't know, you know, mm. there's just more ideas that come to the table. So um, I think it can be used as a way to be empowered, you know? 
You mentioned off camera the idea of reimagining spaces yeah. and artists kind of claiming that, taking mm. hold of a landscape which is very confusing, but at the same time, pretty much for the taking, let's say, yeah. in, a, in, in an innovation sense. Yeah. Do you feel excited about the future as an artist or limited? No, I definitely feel excited. Mm. You know, I feel excited. Um, for that reason, because we get to reimagine spaces, because we're working, people are way more collaborative now. You know, I, I was telling you I'm work, working on an album and I feel like I can just reach out to someone across the world and they might actually have time to engage yeah. with me. Whereas maybe before they're like, they're on tour and they have all these other things. Now, you know, you send someone a message and if they love it, they might just do it because, I don't know, also our perception of time, I think has really shifted. So um, maybe people are really, becoming more aware of how they spend their time and really focusing on the things that they love, you know, and not always thinking about like the outcome and is that gonna make me more successful or not? But do I really love this? Like, you know, you might have time to listen to that person who sends you an email and sends you a song or whatever. So what songs are you gonna play for us today for Wow Sounds? Um, so I wanted to do something special. And so I found uh, this incredible chorus player with whom I'm gonna play. So we've kind of crafted a set that will work for the instrument. Um, I'm from Senegal originally, so whenever I hear Cora, I just like get all of these sensations of like You're making nostalgia. me emotional. Yeah. Like when I hear I'm just like, I haven't even heard it yet. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, so I want to do something around that. So I'm doing two songs. One song is called Window, which is like one of the first songs I ever kind of wrote. Um, and the second song I'm doing is called Woman, which is from my last project. Um, and I think it's a song that I really wanted to I was kind of thinking about like the women in my life because I grew up in a very sort of like female led world where like, yeah. So I just kind of thought, wow, I really should honor and celebrate these women um, and in a way celebrate the woman in myself as well. Because I think it's something I didn't really have a full connection to before. Um, so yeah, that's the songs. Those are the songs that I'm going to do today. I can't wait. Yeah, I hope you like it. <laughs> Hi, it's Anais. I'll be performing two songs of mine, Woman and Window, with Josh on the Quora. Thank you to WOW Festival for having us. It's such a pleasure and an honor to be here. Thank you. Wanna be the woman, wanna be the woman 
was something like a window When I would look into his eyes There was no horizon to fall He took me across the world From a tiny tabletop From Mulberry to Fly away, but it'll fly. 